Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back. Uh, first off, I do want to apologize for not uploading as regularly. I've uh, been busy with school. But anyways, today I'd like to make a video for all the new collectors or the uh, some experienced collectors if you want to retouch on this. Um, the stages of diecast collecting. So, I mean it all starts here, doesn't it? We got our $1.25 basic Hot Wheels. So this is a Hot Wheel you'd find probably in most stores, you know, just sitting for, you know, in the dollar aisle, whatever. Find it pretty much anywhere in the U.S. Pretty standard Hot Wheel car. So that's what they look like outside the package. Usually plastic base, metal body. Got your uh, regular wheels. This is what it would look like in the package. So, again, regular mainline Hot Wheel. Uh, same thing probably goes for Matchbox. So, that's what Matchbox looks like. Regular Matchbox cars. Um, they used to be pretty bad on the detail, but, uh, they've been starting to step it up now because I think, uh, they've been starting, they, they, they were, um, being outshined by Hot Wheels, so they've been stepping it up with some, uh, new models, such as this guy, the Devo, with some pretty good, uh, details. Again, dollar cars, so, definitely worth a dollar for that one right there. Um, then we start clearing out, and, uh, we start moving up the chain, so here we have... That's a Hot Wheels Premium right there, Hot Wheels uh, R33, so these will focus, focus, there we go. These will most uh, usually be metal metal with rubber tires, um, different kinds of rubber tires. Usually we'll have the same details Matchbox main lines do, so a lot of detail. And uh, they vary between casting to casting. Here's an example of one in the package, so obviously the series would, would vary, it would be different. And uh, what you'd be looking for is that guy right there. It usually be on the top right or whatever. Um, it's a Hot Wheels car culture. So, there's your premium models right there. This one's an older one, the Volkswagen Sunagon. Pretty cool. And uh, after that, not too high above premiums, probably only like a dollar or two more. Then we start getting to green light. So, green light are. Yeah, so <laughs> let me just show you guys here. So, they come in these little. Bit of a higher quality plastic um, packaging. Uh, green line in the top left, as you can see. Always metal metal, always with rubber tires. Um, actually, I take that back. I don't think the Silverado has a metal base, but 99% of the time. And uh, they always have not only great detail, but actually, like the the bumper is actually a separate piece. And like the Hot Wheels cars are kind of kind of you know welded together. So very high detail cars. Very very nice. Green lights, as you can see, there's a Lincoln. Very, very cool. Some of these are a bit dusty. They've been sitting outside for a while. And then after that, we start getting to M2s. Now, M2, again, only a buck or two above green light, but uh, they are indeed very, very cool. So these are always limited editions. So between, you know, six, 8,000 pieces for the regular versions. There's a Skyline. So it comes in an acrylic case. Usually comes in an acrylic transparent case, great detail. So it's kind of like a green light card in an acrylic case, if you want to put it like that, but they are usually a bit better to scale. And you can see an out of package here, Camaro. Very, very nice detail. Definitely worth the, um, I think this is actually, I think this is actually the same price as green light, M2 drivers. So yeah, those are cool. And then you start moving up the chain even further, and you get to some stuff like uh, this very dusty Kyosho Aston Martin. Um, yeah, just everything here is to scale. It's perfect as the rubber tires, obviously. It's basically a miniature, it's pretty much a miniature car. There's nothing really wrong with it. Again, I apologize for how dusty they are. And uh, they usually come in boxes like this guy here. So here's a Tarmac Works. Same thing with the Kyosho, Tarmac Works. Mini GT, they're all in the same category. Always come in those, uh, most of them come in this uh, transparent plastic cases. This one is sealed. It's an R8. So again, I mean, just wow. Look, look at the amount of detail in this thing. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't think there's one thing you can find that's not accurate about this thing. So... Obviously, full detail in the front, full detail in the back, full detail everywhere. Even has the tiny stickers on the uh, bumper there. So, uh, these guys will easily, I mean, 
yeah, hot, regular Hot Wheels, Matchbox, about a buck. Car Culture, about six, seven bucks. Green Light, about eight, nine bucks. M2, 10, 11 bucks. Um, Kyosho's, Tarmac Works, Mini GT, anywhere from like 20 to like 50 bucks. I think this one's actually on the higher end. This one's probably about 40, 50 bucks. Again, same size as a regular Hot Wheels car. So, those are definitely cool. Um, things that we collect, there's Chase. Uh, obviously, going to be the Chase pieces. Tarmac Works, I think, um, like these guys, they have cars where they're completely raw, so there's no paint. Um, yeah, those are the Chases, don't have one. Green Light, uh, we tend to go after the green machine, so I think it's like 2% of the production or whatever. Got your green bottom, green wheels. Can be a green body as well. Um, green light is becoming more creative with their chase pieces, so that's a called a green machine right there. Hot Wheels, definitely. Uh, people go after the supers and the treasure hunts. Uh, this one specifically is a super treasure hunt. Very hard to find, especially anywhere uh, that's not really in the U.S. It's hard to find. Yeah, very, very, very nice uh, pieces. So obviously have the rubber tires and the special paint. M2s. Their chase pieces are usually all gold, they're all purple or whatever. There's just some funky color like this guy right here. And this lift pack actually M2 made it a bit easier. You can see the regular one on the bottom, the chase on the top. So all gold and uh, 750 pieces rather than the original. I think it's like what, eight that 9,000 pieces. So much more limited. If you're looking for the numbers, M2 is definitely where you go to. I mean, the regular chases are always at like 750 to 500, pe like 500, 750 pieces. Raws can be like 250 pieces worldwide, so that's definitely where you want to go if you're playing the numbers game. But uh, yeah, there is your intro and the stages to diecast collecting. So again, if you're beginning to collect, probably should just start at the mainline Hot Wheels and work your way up. But uh, again, I mean, like these things you can find anywhere. These guys you can probably find in your local Walmart or your local hobby store. Or in Europe, probably your local supermarket. They're usually in the same place these are, for the most part. Green light, uh, here in Canada, we get them pretty much everywhere. But in the States, I think it's getting quite limited. So Hobby Lobby, I think in the States, a good place to check. In Europe, uh, probably hobby stores. M2, same thing. And uh, Tarmac Works, uh, Kyosho, you'd have to find online or from your local uh, distributor because they're not cheap. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope that cleared up some stuff for you, you guys who are starting to collect. And uh, yeah, happy hunting.